we're doing a beginner's guide to dry cleaning. We're not doing pressing in this video. We're also not doing light therapy. We're just doing a dry cleaning. But I wanna show you just how much work you can do yourself on dirt removal. We got a key here. This is the first Silver Age appearance of Catwoman and we're gonna buff this up and make this look nice and sparkly today. Real quick, I just wanna show you a little bit of a before video. There, see the, all that soot and dirt? That's what we're gonna be looking to get gone. This comic's got quite a bit of fixable, cleanable issues. Let's flip it over. And on the back, it's the same thing. Look at the amount of dirt that we're gonna be able to remove today. I'm excited. Let's get into it. A couple things that you're gonna want art gum eraser, magic eraser. Sometimes these eraser pencils that also come with the brush on the end. We've got a dry erase sponge and we've got some abzerine. We're not doing any chemicals or anything like that today. We're sticking with the basics. First thing you're gonna wanna do is start with cotton swabs. These right here, Swispers, is gonna do our trick. I always start with this. Now, sometimes I actually wear gloves. Recently, I've actually liked cleaning with my hands. I do a full hand washing prior to doing it. You wanna make sure your hands are crispy clean, no dirt or anything. I've already washed my hands, but I'm just gonna do another hit. Now there are natural oils in your hands, so you gotta make sure your hands are crispy clean before you start doing this. Let's get to work. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my either cotton pad or Swispers right here. I'm gonna start in a circular motion. Now this is a white cover, so stuff is probably gonna show up a little bit easier, but don't be fooled. Those non-white colors, even though it's more easy to see the dirt come off of a white cover, there's dirt on those other ones, trust me. So we're gonna do this on the front and back. Little pressure, not a lot of pressure, just the right amount. You're putting just a little bit. You don't wanna, you're not an archeologist. You're not going digging on this thing. And I recommend nice circular motions. If this were a brittle comic, you have to be a lot more careful. Luckily this comic is in solid shape here. Actually quite a bit of dirt on that. And I'm willing to bet we're gonna catch some more on the other side. I don't like wearing gloves because sometimes it catches a page and can roll it. It's these next steps that are gonna do the, the real job, like this art gum right here. And I see some dirt really kind of all over the place. Art gum, you can kind of get on the color. Um, I, I'm gonna start with the white because it shows out there better. When it comes to the color spots, with the art gum, you wanna go really lightly. So, for example, over the dress, I would go extremely lightly over that. I don't wanna pull any color off the piece right there. I'd be a little bit more heavy-fisted with the white spots, and there are a lot of white spots on this particular comic. We haven't even gotten to any absorine or any dry erase, and we are already taking off a lot of dirt on this book, which is what I like to see. All right, let's get to what I think is the best part because this is the part that does the most, the most difference that you'll definitely see. We got the magic eraser right here. This is a Mr. Clean magic eraser. Here's the deal. Only use this on the white parts. So some comics aren't white at all. I would uh, completely avoid it. I only use this when I have a white color. Oftentimes the back, <clears throat> it can be used there. But we're going to go ahead. I just tore off a piece. We're going to bunch it in and see what sort of difference we can make. And interestingly here, I'm applying more pressure than I did with the cotton swab. I'm actually applying a little bit of pressure here. I want to get in there and make sure 
this gets made white. Night and day right there. Big difference in that middle spot. All that soot we saw is gone. We're gonna keep it going, let's do the time lapse. That dirt speck that was over her hand is actually completely gone now. Little water stain like that isn't gonna come out as nice. This removes surface layer dirt, but it can't quite remove staining. Before we move over onto the back, I'm gonna do a couple last finishing touches on this front cover. And that's with our friend, Abzerine. You just take a pinch, roll it up into a ball. I'm just going to roll it. Abzerine helps to get in any cracks. You pick up dirt. This is another thing you don't necessarily want to do if it's a very brittle book. Anything modern, or anything basically in good structure quality, I, I would recommend using this. This is not something you want to handle with something that might be falling apart, that's for sure. All right, and I'm feeling pretty good about what we've done to this cover here. Uh, the book is still in need of a press, but we're looking good. Now, all that water damage up here, that you can see, can't do anything about that, but we're we're looking a lot better than when we started. I'm just going to do one more hit right there. And we're going to move on to the back where I think the most amount of work is going to get done. We've already done a dusting. I'm going to grab one more, one more round of this before we dive in with the Absarine, the Art Gum, and the Magic Eraser here. I'm actually still picking up dirt just by doing this. Huh. I wonder if you can see those light dog earring. Some dirt might get trapped in there, so you really wanna try to get that with the eraser if you can, but you might actually need the help of Absarine to really get in there. Find that the dry eraser, or excuse me, the magic eraser is gonna be doing a lot of the lifting, but anything you can get off the eraser is best. Let's see. We're actually making some nice progress before we're even getting to our uh, magic eraser. Got to be careful on the spine. This book, the spine's in decent shape, but if it's brittle, you got to be really careful around these corners. Trying to go with the grain of some of the grooves, because listen, some people just immediately go into pressing, but the thing is, if you don't clean first, you're basically pressing that dirt into there for all eternity. So that's why they call it a clean and press. You gotta do both. Gotta do both. All right, and I think we're ready to make our biggest impact we can do, which is gonna be with our magic eraser. So let's rip off a piece and get to work.
again, you're actually putting some decent pressure when it comes to the magic race here. So I'm going back to the eraser here because I see some dirt in my yellows. So I gotta try to get those out a little bit better. Can't use the magic eraser on the yellows. I'm gonna hit that with some Absarine. All right, my friends, that might have taken longer than I had anticipated. Hopefully you won't be able to tell because of the time lapse, but we've got a significantly cleaner book going on here. We've got some nice whites. I mean, the back is where I think the most extreme amount of work went on. There's still a lot that has to happen in terms of a press. Couldn't get those stainings out, but that's okay. We made some nice progress today. There's a lot that can be done with the press, too, so I'm excited about that. And this is a very basic guide. Basic stuff here. Dry cleaning, no chemicals. This is without any UV treatment. We haven't even done a press yet. Anybody can do this. I hope this video was helpful. We'll be doing a pressing and eventually a UV and light whitening of pages treatment later video. I look forward to it, and I will see you at the next video.